Hello everyone, I'm Chestnut44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we managed to get out of a pretty sticky situation where the Empire was trying to kill us because we were we were part of a situation which killed one of their leaders. Well, their main leaders, leader on Moro's Isle. Fortunately, we managed to get away and... Now our goal is to go join, go and find the uh, hill runners over in the town of Buzzard near here. Sorry about that sound. Should be just through this path, so let's go. You follow the steep road up into the mountains. Supposedly, the hill runners and other rebels can mostly be found up here. If that is the case, they aren't guarding the road. You don't see anyone at all. However, as you climb farther up, you start to suspect that you are being watched. It's too quiet, and there are too many ledges above you. It's probably not paranoia. You doubt anyone moves into these mountains without being instantly spotted. Well, that must be where they are. You approach the gate of this long fortification. It is well guarded by rebels with crossbows and halberds. Between the fanatical guards and the rough terrain, you can see why the Empire troops don't go up here. The grim, battle-scarred veterans at the gate expected your arrival. They let you through immediately, barely giving you a look. You enter the lands of the hill runners for the first time. And here we are. And this is the town. So I guess this is where we're going to be going to. You meet a, a patrol of heavily armed Empire soldiers. They nod at you and keep moving. They don't want to hurt your cover by being seen talking to you. Interesting that the rebels are letting them there. Well, let's head into Buzzard. You have reached the city of Buzzard, a heavily fortified fortress perched in the mountains of northeast Morrow's Isle. A brief look around reveals that the unthinkable is, in fact, true. This city is not under Empire control. The Empire has not announced that the rebels control Buzzard, and you can see why they have kept it quiet. For the Empire to not have control of the city on its lands is almost unprecedented and an amazing achievement for the Hillrunners. Normally, any sort of rebellion, even one only a fraction as serious as this one, is met by massive, violent ep Empire retaliation. Yet Buzzard has managed to remain independent. For as long as it lasts, this is truly a unique place. Oh good, I can look around at the outside here, which I shall. so I can uncover all the things I didn't uncover before. Because that's what I do. Okay. Now back around. We'll explore through all those doors at some later point. So you got a stone wall and then a wooden wall. Interesting design to this place. Explore inside all these buildings and the like after we explore all out here. Really do have a lot of uh, doors and the like in the outer wooden wall. Smith. You meet a small nondescript man. He is just walking around town and thinking. He looks uncomfortable when you walk up to him. I'm Smith. Nice day for a walk. Oh yes, just strolling. Do you often stroll around? Whenever I can. I just love a nice, peaceful walk. Peaceful walks are nice. Nothing can beat it. I'll return to mine, then. Is there anything you can tell me about Buzzard? Probably not. Do you often stroll around? Whenever okay. Interesting. This ragged man sits looking out over the pool. All of his worldly possessions are contained in two sacks at his side. A begging bowl sits in front of him. He grabs the bowl and holds it up to you. I'm called Stone. Some coins, please. 
Why are you begging? I'm just trying to get money for food. Spare a few coins. Sure, give him a few coins. You give him five coins. Thanks. Things haven't gone right for me since the mess in Fall. What happened in Fall? I was a woodsman down there, and the rebels blew the town up and I was out of work. I'm just waiting to get my job back. Are you angry at the rebels for destroying Fall? You know, I suppose the rebels had their reason for doing what they did, but I wish that they'd found another way. I'll be back to work. Fair enough. We can only hope, I suppose. Looks like that's all the paths around the town. Alright, how about we start right here? Maya's Spellcraft. Who are we supposed to speak with anyway? Um, find someone named Luna. Okay. Maya speaks with you as much as courtesy commands, but she never sets her book aside. She's ready to return to it the instant you are gone. What are you doing? I'm for formerly of the School of Madrian Zoskiva. The school is closed, now I just study. Why were you in Zaskiva? I was in Zaskiva to learn. Am I ever glad to get out of there? I think it is good that someone took care of Volp once and for all, but, I, but it made the town very unstable. Buzzard is a lot easier place to be now. What do you think of Volp? I'm not going to pretend to like the man, I'm glad he's dead. Why'd you move to Buzzard? I've always sympathized with the rebels, now I'm one of them. Something of an improvement. Why did you move to Buzzard? Oh, we already asked that. Tell me about the School of Madrian's Eskiva. It's closed for business, probably permanently now. All mages capable of serving in any capacity were press gang to fight the rebels, and the empty school was heavily damaged by the explosion in Zaskiva, the one that killed Volk. What are you studying? What I study is none of your business. Of course, to make ends meet, I do a little teaching to keep myself in books to read. Oh! So, okay, yeah, I thought this was actually, I thought this was the mage from Zaskiva that we saw before, and it is. This is so we can still get these, uh, spells. Okay, good. Good to know we didn't completely lose everything there. Let's take a look at these other two spots over here. Here we have Buzzard Armory. There's nobody in here. Ah, no wonder. He's in here. She's in here. This tired woman is working hard with a hammer and tongs. She's trying to bang out a spearhead. She is somewhat competent, but you can see that her heart isn't in it. Tori sets aside the hammer for a minute, glad for the rest. I am Tori, the current smith for Buzzard. Welcome to my shop. What's for sale? We have weapons and armor you can purchase, and you can sell your excess goods to me as well. They're the highest quality goods forged out of our own mountain iron. The rebels mine their own iron ore? She smiles wryly. These mountains have all sorts of mines with all sorts of valuable metals. My husband helped mine them. Once. What happened to your husband? My husband worked in the mines until he went off to fight the rebels. I sort with the rebels. I can sort of I sort of can understand it considering the conditions, but I don't have to like it. What conditions do you have to work under in the mines? Why do you think the rebellion started in these mountains? The mine workers were worked by Volp's hand-picked lord for 16 hours a day with terrible safety and minimal pay. Stalker was a miner once until he fought back. This town's lord was the first to be punished. How is the old lord punished? She gives the spearhead an extra vicious blow with her hammer and smiles. His body will never be found. What else do you need? She casts a quick, unhappy glance at her hammer. You're a smith by trade? By trade, but not by choice. I run the smithy while my husband is off fighting. I'm competent, I'm competent enough at repairs and such. Iron plate mail. Ooh, that is impressive. Even better than the bronze. Expensive, though. Plate boots, that's pretty good. Some nice stuff here. Nothing we need to buy, though. Buzzard Armory. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at this side. Hill Runner Storage. Keep out. Oh, we can get through all these. 
More bronze plate mail. That's definitely worth selling. Some toadstools and energetic herbs. And sacks of meal we don't need. Hill runner storage, keep out. Hey, picking the locks at least gives us experience. Some more spiritual herbs, some more healing herbs, and bronze great sword. More storage, yep, more hill runner storage. Hey, you level up. What have we got in here? Silver coins. Haste elixir and healing elixir. Interesting that the healing elixir isn't marked as not mine. Whole lot of gold coins. And a wand of lightning. There's a bit another door here. Another level up. Iron greatsword, steel chain mail too heavy. And an iron large shield. Okay. Steel chain mail 1 to 20 plus 6. That is pretty impressive. That's not as narrow, but it's still pretty impressive. You know what? She can have that. Bonnie can have that. And this chain mail can be sold. Really? You already had steel? Hmm. Interesting. And here we have fine lockpicks, a fine first aid, and a healing potion. Alright. Not too shabby. How about we sell these things? Just so we don't have to carry them. Let's see. Oh, we have the Fletcher's Ring to sell. I didn't realize. Okay, that's all that sold. And that is those two sold. Alright. Excellent. Now, moving on on the explorations. This is probably the end. Buzzard in. I was right. This man is sitting at his table, scribbling furiously on a vellum scroll. When you approach, instantly he drops what he's doing to speak with you. I am a crone. Well, pleased to meet you. An adventurer. What a stroke of luck. What are you writing about? He smiles and points at the scroll. You see that he has written down descriptions of what has been going on, along with things people in the towns have said to him. I'm an information gatherer. What's an information gatherer? I know what you're thinking. I'm not a spy. I hail from the city of Crisan. I work to produce this great new thing. It's called a scroll of news. Where's Crisan? Beautiful city. Weeks to the south. What's a scroll of news for? It's a new sort of business started by a wizard there. First, people like me are sent out to find out what is happening in the world. Then what? Oh, when we find something out, we use magic to communicate it back home, where they have a magical machine which makes lots of the scrolls, and then they get sold to people. Then everyone can find out what is happening in Valorum. Of course, when I came here, because... Of course, I came here because the rebellion is a great story. Does the Empire know you're here? I don't know what the Empire will think of us telling people about this rebellion, but people will sure pay to read about it. That's why I came here. Of course, what I really want is to speak to Stalker. Have you had any luck reaching Stalker? People barely tolerate my being here as it is. They certainly won't let me reach their secret leader to ask him questions. I would give anything for a few words. I've been wanting to meet Stalker. If you ever see him, mention my name. I can let people everywhere know what's happening. It could help him a lot. And it would sell us a lot, lots of scrolls. Everyone gains. Just think it over. Start of a newspaper. Nice. Macron is still writing quickly. He smiles up to you. I'm happy to keep chatting with you. I love talking to adventurers. Why are you so interested in talking to adventurers? Adventurers are excellent sources of information. After all, they're wonderful at poking their noses where they don't belong. You know, maybe we can help each other. I'm allotted a certain budget to pay people to obtain information for me. Well, what information do you want? I've heard that there's a hidden empire outpost to the southeast. If you ever found where it is, let me know. I'd really like to go there and ask some questions. I would pay. This Macron person seems kind of suicidal. I suppose that's his business. Wonderful. Well, uh, 
I imagine the news business was always a bit rough at the start. The, the guards in Buzzard are a particularly nasty, scarred, suspicious lot. Living in a town the Empire is planning to obliterate from the face of the world doesn't do much for one's calm demeanor. You have a short conversation with the guard, but you don't get anything more than grunts out of him. This woman looking after the bar is harried, tired, and not entirely sure what she's doing. However, she manages to do her job with such charm and high spirits that nobody seems to mind. She smiles at you while failing to get a stain out of the counter. Oh, hello there, sweetie. I'm Rita. How can I help? What can I get here? Oh, well, what you'd expect. I'm looking after the inn while Rudolph is gone. We have rations if you're going hiking somewhere. Whiskey is six coins and a nice room is ten. Who is Rudolph? Her cheery expression is temporarily marred by worry. My husband. He normally runs the inn, but he's off fighting with the rebels. Where is he fighting? Not something I wish to dwell on. Uh, how about a nice meal? After a long stretch of w waving and clearing your throat, you manage to regain Rita's attention. Hey, sweetie, what else do you need? Any interesting news or rumors? There's always interesting news up here. People slip up all... People sl new people slip up here all the time to join the Hillrunners, even if they're doomed. Everyone coming here is doomed. No, oh, probably. Nobody survives fighting against the Empire. But down in the town be towns below, life isn't worth living. The people here are proud, and everything they had was stolen. Stolen? What do you mean? The people of this isle worked for a century to tame it and make it livable. They had finally earned comfort. And then the lords came, took over, and made us all peasants. And Lord Volk was the worst. No matter the risk, there are some insults that cannot be borne. I see. Also, I noticed that Buzzard Inn is entirely in capitals there. Don't know why. Alright. This may be some more sort of storage. No, no, it's not storage. Probably the innkeeper's ha homes. Oh no, these are the rooms! Yes, those are the rooms for the people. Alright. Uh, let's take a look at this building over here. Luna's Fletchery. Okay, Luna's the one we're supposed to be talking to later, so let's go to there in a bit. Training hall. Sure, let's look in here. This hillrunner is too absorbed in weapons practice to notice that you're trying to talk to him. Okay, fair enough. Buzzard's an unusual town, and it has an unusual trainer. He is a tall, imposing wizard in full traditional robes. He takes a break from instructing a captain in the finer details of woodcraft to speak with you. I am Turfler. Welcome to the training hall. Can you help us? Of course. I was a wizard of the, of the Empire, now doing what is needed for the rebels. I can perform training of all sorts. I can also identify your mysterious items if needed. Tell me about the training you offer. Excellent. I can, to a point and for a fee, increase your knowledge of first aid and potion making. Simple enough, but we don't need that. Don't need any training. What's your wizard doing out here with these rebels? The Empire sent me out with Lord Volk years ago to help maintain order. That was before I joined the rebels. What do you think of Lord Volk? Cruel, selfish, unjust man. He won't be missed. Why'd you join the rebel cause? The wizard's mind travels in strange realms, but not so far off it loses sight of justice. Lord Volk was treating this island unjustly, so I joined the rebels. I give knowledge and fight as well. How well can you fight? There is not a man or woman on this island who can throw a stronger fire blast. Were you treated unjustly by Volk? Volk placed me up here to settle unrest. He meant by this that I was supposed to fireball anyone who didn't follow his order. He treated me as a cog in his machine ready to kill anyone who displeased me. So I left. Alright then. Uh, that's basically a barracks. What have we got here? More houses, it looks like. Just a dagger there. Feeling... Whoa! Okay, that's a very difficult place. I have a feeling there may be a hidden way in. I'm just gonna check all the walls here. Maybe up in the top here. Ah! There is.
is a hidden way in. Ice Lance's scroll, not even gonna take that. Ooh, gold coins. Ogreish gauntlets and an unshackling crystal. Okay. Plus one to level to melee damage. Okay, and the Drake King Gloves. They give resistance, but definitely take those Ogreish gauntlets. You can have the Drake Skin Gloves. A couple coins, take them. And nothing of value in there. Okay. Well, that was nice. Alright, all that leaves is Luna. I've let everyone out of their holds. Ah! Hold on. Let's look in here. This is another room, it looks like. I think there's a hidden room up here. Probably got to get to it from Luna here. But let's speak with her first. A small, quiet Fletcher sits behind the counter, intently working on a set of matched bolts. When she looks up at you, you see that she has a huge scar along the side of her face. I am Luna. I am a hill runner. You openly say that you were a hill runner. Yes, Stalker is our leader. I would die for him. Her cold sincerity is inspiring and alarming at the same time. Stalker knows you are coming to me. He asked me to teach you a lesson. What lesson will you teach us? She turns her face toward you and points at the scar on her cheek. Jane's men did this to me. The only thing I did for it was try to complain to Lord Volk about conditions in the mines. The lesson is to never forget the evil of your enemies. I am reminded of it every day and it keeps me strong. All of us, we all have our reminders. What reminders do the others have? Dead mothers, dead sons. If you are lucky enough to not have a reminder forced upon you, you must find your own. Let's trade. Simple enough. May I speak with you? Yes. Of what? I have missiles you can purchase. I also work for the hill runners, you should know. When she speaks, she turns her face away from you, trying in vain to conceal the scar. Do you know where I can contact the rebels? You are to meet with the rebels. She reaches behind her and pushes a spot on the wall. You hear a click from somewhere. There is a concealed door in the corner. That will take you where you are going. So that's where we're supposed to go to meet with the rebels. Probably Stalker. Hmm. We shouldn't go down there right now. We will go in there and go down, I think, in the next episode. It's probably not going to be endgame. There may be other places out here we're, suppo we're supposed to go. Probably, I'm guessing. Hold on. This is what it looks like. This is where that hidden Empire outpost is. This is probably where Endgame is going to end up happening, I imagine. Down here, we're probably going to get some more information before we do that. So, I'm going to end this episode here before we go down there. Next episode, we'll go down and see what we're going to learn from the Rebels. That'll be in the next episode. So, until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.